In. Hello guys and uh, welcome to this playthrough of Hollow Knight on the Nintendo Switch. Hollow Knight is a famous indie game, it came out a few years ago, but it came out to a very high uh, critical acclaim. It is regarded as one of the best indie games and I consider it one of my favorite games. Uh, in this playthrough I will show you some tips, some tricks, and of course, I mean of course, along the way I will explain all of the deep lore that can be found within Hollow Knight. It is very famous for this deep lore and it is only rivaled by the extremely deep lore of Nintendo's very own Kirby series. So uh, without further ado, let's start. I will uh, quickly choose a new slot and I'll play classic mode because Steel Soul is overrated and I'm a little bitch. Now as the game starts you will see In wilds beyond they speak your name with reverence and regret For none could tame our savage souls yet you the challenge met Under palest watch you taught we changed space instincts were redeemed A world you gave to bug and beast as they had never dreamed From Elegy for Hellenists by Monomon the Teacher um, of course, this uh, speaks about Monomon the Teacher, a character that will become very important later, but I should be quiet because this is a very, very important cutscene, of course, the introduction cutscene, where you see there seems to be a thing and then a light, and then a crack, and a large scream, a loud scream, and then these glowy things. Now clearly something bad has happened, and we are here to find out what that is. And there is our playable character, the Hollow Knight. As you can see, he likes lanterns, and like many bugs, he attracted to light, which is why he is coming here. Some uh, very nice 2D animation. Of course, as a 2D animator myself, I am partial to this game's style. Although I think it would look a lot cooler if it was a nice 60 frames per second with some automatic motioning in between. That would be a very good. Like all of those anime videos you see. And with this, we are now playing. On the top left corner you can see my health that is indicated with these five little masks and now I can look around, I can jump and with Y I can attack. And as you can see it is a game by Team Cherry which is uh, automatically nice because cherries are the best fruit in Animal Crossing and if you don't like that then well you are entitled to your opinion but I disagree. Then you saw some other names Ari Gibson, William Pelham, some other guy, and now I can break these walls. Sound and score by Christopher Larkin, and then, oh, now this is the first enemy we see. It is a, a weird little bug, of course, but why am I, as a bug, better than these bugs? How very interesting. Now we can attack this bug, and he drops these little things that I'm looking at right now. Look, I can pick these up. And now I have two of them. These are Geo, and this is the currency of the game. You will find that Geo is very important, especially later on. And now, as I was doing this, you saw, as I hit my enemy on the top left corner, this white goo. Now, this is the Hollow Knight's libido. It is very important that once you meet some characters, that you need to get rid of this libido, because uh, the Hollow Knight is a very naughty boy. And now you can see now there are eyes up there, which means that, ooh, he's getting very amped up. And a lot of money, well, Geo, I would say. Now, so far this is very atmospheric, I really like it. Not, no music, just... Some good 
Oh, see, now this is an example of how the game can be very tricky. There are traps all over the place. You'll need to watch out. Now, what is this? I can look up and it tracks. And it says, Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Your great strength marks you amongst us. Focus your soul and you shall achieve feats of which others can only dream. You collect soul by striking enemies, and once enough soul is collected, you can hold A. Now what this does is it focuses the Hollow Knight, so he's like, come on man, you should stop at this, and you should calm down, and don't worry about your libido. So you can see, he did this thing, he lets out a huge fart, and then he's a bit calmer. Now, we can kill this enemy. Again, no money. Nice splat sound. It was very nice. Now, this is, looks like a little secret. And in this secret is more money. Well, like, <laughs> silly me. I keep saying money. Of course, this isn't true. And, oh! Well, see, that was an example of the spikes in this game. Like in the Mega Man games, spikes kill you instantly. Well, I mean, they damage you, and it's like bam, and then you're left at, well, it drops you off at a safe, safe place from which to, from where to, you can continue. Another nice uh, example, that the terrain can also damage enemies, so you can be very smart about this. Uh, this is very interesting. Well, I can destroy these things because they anger me. They anger me to the core of my being. But I can't destroy this one. I guess I'll have to keep one alive. Now this is uh, interesting. You see this? Now these are little things that are trying to run away from me. Because they know I'm the apex predator. Now I can kill these and something very interesting happens. I have two blue health pips. Uh, what this means is that they are just extra health. It's just very nice. Now I can hold aid. Oh, yes, I can hold aid to focus because as you see, I lost health. So now, boop, and I have it back. This is a uh, very interesting uh, game mechanic. This game was the first game to have this kind of mechanic, so I put it on the map, so to say. And uh, yeah, it's just one of the ways that this game is a trendsetter in many ways. Now, you can never trust anywhere where you go, because stuff like that can happen. Now, let's continue on. Now, we'll have to keep moving, because those stalagmites fall down. Now, underneath here, oh, secret, more money. I mean Geo. I'm sorry. I will try to get that right, but I doubt I will. Now, see these spikes? I'm gonna try something. Ah! I failed. I can... I failed. I can try again. Because I want to show off. Now, where does this lead? I actually don't know. Oh. in our lands. Do not hide your true form. Let all bask in your majesty, for only this kingdom could produce ones such as you. And, oh, there's something in here. It is Fury of the Fallen. Now, this is a charm. You're not supposed to get it this quickly, but because I am a boss, I got it early. Now, charms are because, I mean, of course, on this channel, you're well aware of TTYD. Paper Mario. Uh, this is kind of like a badge system. You can equip badges and stuff. I will show that later. Now, I don't know what this is. This might be a bad idea, but we'll just see what this is. Oh, it was not a bad idea. It just leads you back to where you were before. Now, while I'm doing this, I'm gonna have a drink. You stay hydrated, of course, when playing video games, because it can be very taxing. Now let's just continue onwards. 
This is where we fell down. And now we are back and on the other side. So now we can continue onwards. Now, um, let's see, what is this? It says, higher beings is what Sorry. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Beyond this point, you enter the land of king and creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. Now, this is an example. This will show you that where we are going now, the police are motherfuckers. They, uh, there are their laws in place, and they will stop at nothing to throw us in jail. So let's be very careful of that. Bear witness to the last and only civilization, the eternal kingdom, Hellenist. Now, Hellenist is, an, is a reference to how this game was supposed to be a game based on Halloween, but then they decided, you know what, bugs are cooler, so they decided to go with Hallownest. They just put Nest there because they weren't very original. Now, this is a door. It doesn't seem like, doesn't seem like a lot is happening, but do not fret, just keep wailing on it. Keep wailing on it. Then after blacking out for a little while, you get through. Now, what is this? You must do a leap of faith. Hiya! So where are we now? Another street light. Of course, the Hollow Knight is a big fan of this. Very nice. There are some smaller bugs floating around. And as you can see, they are very tiny, which again shows we are the apex predator. Now we slow down because we are being careful. This is a automatic slowing down for cinematic purposes. And now we are in Dirtmouth, the fading town. Dirtmouth is a very gross place. As, as the name suggests, these people like to eat dirt. They stuff it in their face all day long, and it is very gross. Now, what does this old man have to say? No, no, no. So no risk. Oh, that traveler. I'm afraid there's only me left to offer work. Our town's fallen quiet, you see. The other residents, they've all disappeared. Headed down that well one by one, into the caverns below. Used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long felt a ruin, yet it still draws folks into its depths. Wealth, glory, enlightenment, that darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you too seek your dreams down there. Well, watch out. It's a sickly air that fills the place. Creatures turn mad and travelers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such great things after all. This shows the nihilistic outlook of this game, because this guy says like, hey, don't have dreams. Dreams are for losers. Now, this is a bench. On a bench, you can save and you heal. These are the save points of this game. And at benches, as it just said, you can press minus and then you can equip charms, aka badges. You can only do this on a bench. Very important. As you can see, this costs two notches and we have three so far. So we can equip this no problem. There we go. And as you saw, the Hollow Knight fell asleep right there. Uh, a very cute thing. It shows that, well, yeah, he's a very tired boy. He does uh, a lot of walking, so I, uh, <laughs> I uh, think uh, anyone would get tired of that. So, uh, yeah. The, there's a lot of nice details in this game. Now, I'm sorry. Add a little more. Some more chips. Oh. I'm sorry. Was it stuck? My hand was stuck a bit. Okay, now this. The arm helping supplies. We'll be opening soon. Is all in corner for? No. Don't need it.
<clears throat> okay, so, um, okay, so uh, Zelda and Kornfer, their uh, characters will meet them later. That will be a shop later. Very nice. But so far, there is uh, nothing we can do here. Now, see this. The music fades out. Very important. But we say, fuck it. We don't need that place. We're gonna go exploring a little bit. As uh, gaming always says, never go to the intended path and always go different places. Because fuck the developer telling me what to do. Now there's a simple lock here. Obviously we will need a key. We'll find a key later. Well then, I uh... Yeah. I guess we'll uh, continue onwards then. Down this hole. Mm, oh, shit, wait. That later. Oh, fuck you, boy. Oh. Ah, shit. Um. Okay, wait. Let me pull that noise. Okay. So, cut here. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, I'm back, everyone. Sorry for the delay. Uh, now, <laughs> sorry to keep you waiting on this uh, exciting point, but now we are ready to jump in into Hellenists. Well, the ruins, as they say. And we have reached the Forgotten Crossroads. Now, it is time to explore this place. Left or right, where should we go? You know what? I think we should end the video right here. Thanks for watching everyone. Make sure to like and subscribe. And let me know if you want me to go left or right. Uh, leave it in the comments below. And then in the next episode, I will, um, I will listen to what you guys say. Or not, because honestly, I don't give a crap either way. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Again, like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to ring that notification bell to keep updated on uh, further videos in this series and uh, yeah uh, we'll see you next time bye okay let's see